three. In Matthew 28, Jesus tells us to go into all the world and make disciples. We often think the emphasis is on the world, but actually the focus should be on go. Jesus is telling us to go wherever you are. Sometimes that may be India or China or the Philippines, but much more likely it's going to be Brussels or Yamanto, Silkstone, Ripley, Springfield. In other words, the place most of us are going to go is the place we're already currently spending most of our time in. When Jesus said to go to his disciples, he said, you will be my disciples, firstly, in Jerusalem, in our local area, then beyond. So what does that look like for us as a church? Our vision statement talks about us making disciples, planting churches, and being a beehive of kingdom impact. So here's just a glimpse of what that beehive of kingdom impact already looks like. Our food hamper ministry. Each week, our ministry supplies short-term relief to individuals and families in physical, emotional, mental, and financial need by providing food hampers. Since this ministry started in 2020, we have given out over 200 hampers to people within the Ipswich community. And here's just one example of the impact. It's such a privilege to be a part of the hamper ministry. And I wanted to share a short story with you from a few weeks ago. We had a family reach out to us seeking a hamper. They were going through a really tough situation made worse by some pretty significant health issues. And just through the process of being able to sort out and deliver a hamper to them, they expressed how loved and seen they felt. In their moment of craziness, they were able to feel just a little bit of peace. And the kids even said that it felt like Christmas morning opening up the package. And it's these little interactions that we get to have with members of the community that open up doors. Um, since then, we've been able to follow up with them and just pray over a number of different issues that are going on in their world and sow little seeds of hope and love into their lives. CAP Money Mentors is one of these areas. CAP provides holistic support for individuals facing extreme challenges, such as unmanageable debt and relational and mental health issues. Money Mentors come alongside and walk with people through what can be a very emotional and distressing time of their lives. I'm one of the CAP Money Mentors here at Catalyst Church. And one of my clients recently lost her job and at the same time was told that she needed to vacate her rental property. And this put uh, added pressure on her finances. But for me, it was such a joy to be able to help her set up a budget and find avenues of assistance and also to pray for God's provision in her life. Um, her last text to me this week was just one of appreciation and thanks for just all the help we've been able to give her during this difficult time. Schools Ministry in our local area. We are providing support to school chaplains by engaging high school aged children in value-based education courses, such as No Limits and general social and spiritual support. I love Schools Ministry and Youth Ministry and everything to do with young people, so I am so grateful that our local chappies have open doors uh, and we've seen God's favour for us to be able to go into a few local schools and share God with people. So through Bible studies at local Ippy High that we've just launched, through um, group work like No Limits, through Chappy Week and Are You OK Day and uh, all sorts of events where we get to go into schools and just share God, share love, share community and invite young people out to other events as well. So excited to see what keeps happening in this space. We have a fabulous new ministry this year called the Turn Up Club, a new ministry focusing on young people at Sutton Park each Wednesday night with the purpose of building relationships, providing food and a non-judgmental space where young people and their families can come and be loved and heard with the hope that they can learn that they were created for a kingdom purpose. We have two girls that come to the park, one comes with her dad and one is in care and there was this thing that happened one night, the little girl who broke came with her dad, she fell and she cried and she ran up to her dad and he gave her a hug and it was fine. But then the young girl that is in care fell later that night quite hard. And initially there was just that fear and that her eyes that kids get, you know, they fall and they're scared they hurt themselves. And then 
that passed and I could just see in her face this change. And she's like, I have to be okay because I don't have anyone to run to. And it really just struck me how meaningful those small interactions can be um, with these kids, with these young people, and even with adults that are coming that maybe don't have anyone in their life that truly cares. There's so many other things. Adult education. We currently provide opportunities for ongoing learning and development through programs like Alpha Parenting and Unashamed. There is scope for so much more in this area to encourage people to gather and learn and grow. Our counselling service. Just this year, we have kicked off a professional counselling service, providing Christian-based counselling to our community at a reduced cost. And of course, alongside all of this is our wonderful cafe, running Tuesday to Sunday. And of course, the playground, which provides a fantastic space to meet, gather, bring families and children, work or just be. And who knows what else might pop up in this space? Creative workshops, board game groups. We have a community garden up and running, all sorts of different clubs. I'm sure you'll agree with me. There's plenty of need and areas of opportunity right here in our own backyard in Ipswich. But we're excited about these initiatives and the impact that they're already having and will continue to have into the future. We're also excited about the opportunities they are bringing in terms of new areas to serve and new people that we will come into contact with through these areas. There are many more ideas brewing. You might have some right now. So let's be praying and get excited about the potential that is right here and right now. Our hope is that Catalyst Church will be known as a church that loves Jesus and has a heart for Ipswich. <laughs>